So I just got done looking in the new bins and I'm going back to go to the bathroom and look what I see right on top of this bin. Are you kidding me right now? Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the Goodwill bins, finally. I have been getting, well, I'm now getting over this dang cold I have. Um, so I thought I'd come up for a few hours and see what I can find today. So let's get inside. The sun is shining, but it is cold. I'm pretty sure that's why I got a cold, is because the weather has been crazy here in Iowa. It'll be flip-flops and t-shirts one day, and then the next day snow. So, yeah, not very fun. But there's a ton of cards. I wonder if they got a bunch of new cards. Yes! Oh my god, look, they did. They got a ton of new cards. This is cool. They're bringing out new bins right now. Oh, they're bringing out hard goods. Okay, I gotta get over there. All right, here they are with new bins. This is cool. I got here right at the right time. Look at all the plushies. Oh my. Okay, I don't know. Should I grab all these? Should I grab all these plush? I mean, we'll stick them in the cart. We'll see. They probably weigh a ton. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I should grab all these plush. I'm thinking so. We'll see. We will see. Thank you. Thank you. I'm grabbing them, Jim. <laughs> Let's go over here and get more of them. I know there's more. Here's more. There's another one. That one right there, yeah. That one. That's the quick. I'll probably just get the ones with the, the tags. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm just going to get the Disney ones with the Disney tags. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm trying to see if I can find any more of these plushies. There's a lot. I know. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to get digging and see what more we can find here. So I just got done looking in the new bins, and I'm going back to go to the bathroom, and look what I see right on top of this bin. Are you kidding me right now? This is awesome. Oh, yes. So now I'm like, do I need to check out this bin before I go back and go potty? <laughs> before anybody else comes over here. There's a bicycle die cut. Okay. Oh man, okay, I'm gonna look in this real quick before, before I run back. <laughs> we gotta check it out, I'm curious. Whoa, that's extremely heavy. 
that's so heavy. Well, I just literally walked in the door and looked through the new bins and found a cart full already. <laughs> These are all Disney plush. I don't know if, I don't think I can leave them behind. They're in really, really good condition and I think you guys might like them. So I think I'm gonna pick them up. These are the glass bins. Wow, are they empty, empty. This is crazy. That's signed. That's really pretty. That's like a pottery bank. What, do you have to break it open or something? I don't know. I like the sign of pottery, but I don't know if really anybody else does because it doesn't seem to really do the best. At my live sales. Oh my goodness, he's missing his little hands. Poor little thing. Oh, he's cute. Cute. a little creamer. A little snowman dish. Little girl. It's in rough shape. It's a music box, but it's in really, really rough shape. All right, back to the hard good we go. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this giant jewelry box. That thing is massive. It is huge, but it is in very rough shape, and it's missing a drawer. Oh, gotta go. All right, they are taking away these. Ben's gonna bring out some new hard goods. Okay, here's what rolled out in front of me here. This one's horrible. Yeah. Barbies. First toothbrush. Yeah. Look. 
look at this giant wood cat. It's broke. His ears broken and stuff right there. But oh my God, he's like half the size of me. He's huge. He's a big boy. That's cool. What's this? Look at that. It's in rough, rough shape. That's pretty cool too. Big things. Big, cool things. I still haven't decided if I'm going to get all those Disney plush or not. I posted it on the community section of the my YouTube to see if people would want them because I it's not my normal niche, you know? I don't usually buy that stuff. and tons of records. Lots of these old records. It's hard to look under the records when um, there's so many because they're so heavy. Those are new ones. I like the vintage ones. The vintage old made cards. Oh, hanky. Hanky, hanky. Wonder if I can find more. I literally got overwhelmed, so overwhelmed with hankies that I just sold the entire bag in my live, last live sale. Oh, there's another one. Look at that one that's embroidered and it says, get well. That's cool. Okay, guys, I have had enough for today. Um, I'm going to take the chance on those Disney plushies. We're going to go ahead and check out and get right into the haul. All right, I am back several days later with the haul finally. Um, but we ended up spending a total of $27.00. A few of these things are from my friend Alex from the days I couldn't make it to the bins. She picked me up a few things. So let's get right into the haul. Okay, first I'm going to show you the things that Alex picked up for me. She picked this up for me. I thought that was such a really nice, um, cruel, embroidered piece with the pheasants and the roosters. Aren't they so pretty? I love this piece. It's in really good condition, too. So that she picked up for me. She picked up this really stinking cute, adorable vintage jewelry box. And it's a music box and it still works. You'll have to excuse my, my cold. I'm finally feeling a little bit better. Finally. Oh, whatever I, the sickness I had hit me like a ton of bricks. It was horrible. It's got the little vintage ballerina dancing cute needs a little cleaning up on the inside but that's no big deal and it shuts very nicely so thank you alex for that she also picked these up for me 
an embroidered pillow case. Only one. But it's still really pretty. And this vintage baby quilt. Oops, upside down. <laughs> it's like an embroidered nursery rhyme quilt. Cute, right? So it's in really good condition. So that, and then she picked up this for me. Really, really cute, kitschy wall hanging. Really, this would look so cute on somebody's gallery wall. A embroidered um, table runner. It's got a few spots on there, but that's okay. And then this it is a quilt topper. It doesn't have the back, it's just the top. But absolutely love it. So I will lay it all out. Um, you guys can see, here's the back. I'll lay it all out right here and put the size so you guys can see what it looks like. And then she picked me up this cute little, it's like a dream pet, but it's the other brand, Kamar, Kamar from Japan. It's like the hard plushie. Look how kitschy he is. Adorable. So thank you, Alex, for those pieces. I appreciate that. Okay, now for what I got for $27 is this. I picked up this beautiful vintage Afghan. Absolutely love it. It's in really good condition. I'll lay it out and put the size and everything up there for you guys so you can see it, but it's so pretty. Look at all those colors. I picked up this amazing piece. I cannot believe that this was just laying in the old bins. Really, really, really good condition. Plastic reindeer with the sleigh and Santa in there. It's like a blow mold type Santa and reindeer. Love the love, love it. So stinking cute. And then the sleigh is like flocked. So I love that piece. I picked up this vintage... Um, Bystol, new in the package, um, die cut, you know, like a skeleton cutout. It's from 1970. It says 1970 right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I picked up this cute little sugar plum fairy girl. I thought she would be cute for a treasure bag, unless somebody wants her separately. She like feels different. She's really cute. I like that. Two hankies. I was only able to find two today. Or not today, really, because I'm doing this haul video several days later. Um, so two hankies. This really cute um, needlepoint picture frame. I really like that. I thought that was really kitschy and fun. A box of Mr. Christmas glass ornaments. Let me open the box so I can show you them. They're just plain. There's some Easter grass in there, but they're just plain glass. They're really old. You can see the top right there. It's got Easter grass in there, but they're, they're glass ornaments, so I thought those were really fun. And... A few little small things. These are going to go into a treasure bag. A cute little raccoon family, maybe. Or I might sell these separate since there's three of them. Who knows? They're like flocked, little flocked calico critter type things. I picked up this adorable, so stinking cute glass frog. Look at him. He's got a crown on his head. He's all glass. How fun is he? He's in really good condition, too. I don't think he's broke anywhere at all. No chips or cracks or nothing on that guy. So he was a lot of fun. I There's two of these. I'm going to figure out. Okay, so there's one of this, 
one little miniature donkey on a little car type thing. And then there's two of these. And these look like the blue sky pottery figures, kind of. The style looks like blue sky pottery. I'm not for sure it, what it is. But there's this gal. And then there's a guy somewhere in here. I don't know where he's at. But he's went fell to the bottom. I'll get to him when I get to him, I guess. And then I picked up this uh, pearl necklace. Now, it's heavy. It's heavier, so it might be a nicer quality. I don't know. It's really pretty. I, my eyes aren't good enough to see if it's marked. Oh, it is marked. I can see it's marked. I'm not going to be able to read what it says, but it is marked on there. Maybe Luke will be able to read it for me. I can't read it. Okay, then I'll, I picked up a ton of vintage Disney plushies. So many. So I'm going to do these as choice in my next live sale. A lot of them still have their original tags on there. Can you see? They're the vintage Disney. Really, really cute. This one's Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Um, designed for Sears. So there's that one. There's Aladdin and a Pooh, his monkey. There is the rabbit from Alice in, in Wonderland. There's Pinocchio. There is some vintage Mickey and Minnie. Another Mickey and Minnie set. Really stinking cute. And all these are in really, really good condition too. This little guy, he's from Oliver and Company. I think he's Tito. Yeah, Tito. See, he's from 1988. Some of them still have their dates on there. 1988. There is Beast. And then there is... Um, this one's Oliver and Company as well. Uh, from 1988. This is Oliver. This is so really cool. And then... Oh, here's the guy. Here's the little guy that goes with the girl. See, they look like blue sky pottery to me. I'm not for sure, but they're cool. I picked up this little um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Little keychain. A lot of this smalls can go into a treasure bag. This little frame, I thought that would be cute for a treasure bag. This, it's like a lens. It's an actual lens. That'll be fun for a treasure bag. It's still got its paper in there as well in this package. Okay, maybe that's not how it goes. There we go. <laughs> Put it in the right way. A Kate Spade business card holder. Hold your business cards. And two brass owl or elephants. Um, mom and a baby, the brass elephants. Really stinking cute and kitschy and fun. So that is everything I got for $27. I don't think I did too bad. Um, with all the Disney plushies. They're not my niche. This is something new for me. So I figured I would give them a try and see what we could do with them. So that is what I spent everything, $27 on all that stuff. Um, really quickly, I'm going to show you another little haul from an estate sale. Um, I cannot remember how much I spent. I can't remember how much I spent, but because this was a couple weeks ago. 
There's these little snow babies sets. These are older ones, too. You can see they're older. Little, little lamb, little lamby poo. So that set I picked up. I picked up a fuzzy squirrel planter. How adorable. And it's Christ. It is marked on the bottom. It is Christ. So that is so fun and kitschy and cute. Really good condition on that guy. This little fuzzy squirreled, fuzzy tailed squirrel. It is an Esco. It's adorable. And then these two. These two little happy squirrels. They're smiling. <laughs> They're adorable. And then this little box. It is made to look like a little book. It's an old box. Focus. It's not wanting to focus very well, but you open it up. The inside it's got like an inkwell and like a thing for a, a writing pen. My brain's still not working right. It's in a fog. You'll have to excuse me. And then I picked up a set of four of these uh, beautiful uranium glass glasses. They glow very nicely, and they've got a really nice pattern on there. So I picked up four of those. I think that was all I got. Oh, I forgot. I got one more thing at that estate sale. One more thing. It is a new in the box Cobra brush set, silver plated. It's a very, very beautiful. I'm gonna try to take it out really quickly. I had it opened so I can show you guys what the mirror looks like because it's really nice. It's a really nice set. It's made in Hong Kong. It's very, it's heavy. It's a heavy set, but isn't that gorgeous and beautiful? So that whole set new in the box. Also forgot one more thing. I forgot I got these, think of these vintage scarves. It says, Susan, I always wanted to have these cleaned, cut, and f cut something and framed the... I don't know. I can't read what it says, but I will show you. They're pieces of silk. Oops, that was the back side. <laughs> They're like silky. It's like cut pieces of fabric. That's all embroidered and stitched. So there's that one. this. It's different. Huh. It's different. I don't know what that is. This one. And this one. This one's pretty. It's got fishies on it. It's really pretty. I like those. All right, guys. Well, that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything you're ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. And I can let you know if it will be available 
um, outright or if it will be available in a live sale, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get notified every time I go live and when I post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.